Hi, I'm Leon. I'm from Intel, a senior software cloud architect. Hi, I'm Shamal Tahir. I'm a director of product management at Athena Health. Hi, I'm glad today that we are very happy because I'm, we're actually celebrating a three years anniversary for the Enterprise Working Group. Yeah, so we're going to talk about what this working group is about and how, I mean, how we evolved from three years ago and until what today, what kind of workload that we have developed. Yeah. yeah. So three years ago at the Atlanta Summit, it, it became apparent that there is a need for large enterprise customers and companies that are adopting OpenStack um, to you know, kind of share some of their common needs and necessities and quite frankly, barriers to adoption that they're facing. And so in that context, we formed a group to kind of expose some of the barriers to adoption as well as build plans on how we can share them more broadly with the upstream community and build actionable plans towards uh, getting some of those mitigated in the future. Yeah, so some of the things that we work on before is like lowering upgrades. What is the pain point of doing upgrades and operating in OpenStack? And moving on, we have a lot of different companies joining the, the work group and we try to identify what are the existing gaps and barriers for adopting OpenStack. And one of the things that we found out is um, many enterprise customers is find it difficult to know what is OpenStack and how to open uh, operate OpenStack in their environment. So we came up with this idea of um, de developing new um, ebook content to help people to understand what is OpenStack and how to implement OpenStack in their, in their environment and then how to migrate uh, existing applications onto OpenStack environment. Yeah, so moving on, uh, we also have a lot of uh, things working on today, such as a workload reference architectures. So we want to talk about some of the workload that we are doing today. Yeah, definitely. And, and before I get into that, I think it's important to highlight also the user composition of the working group. Yeah. So this working group actually is a good, healthy mix of OpenStack users, mm -hmm. as well as uh, upstream contributing companies like Intel yeah. and, and others. Um, so. It, what we're coming up with is not just you know um, us thinking something is an issue and raising it. We're actually yeah. very responsive to user survey. Exactly. We're very responsive with the companies that are participating, like Walmart, for example, and hearing their needs. And you know, again, uh, I think it's important to note that the group is a really healthy mix of both uh, contributors as well as users, and uh, that makes the content that much more powerful. Honestly, I think. So coming back to workload architectures, which is another great collaboration point, yeah. since we have users participating in the work group, we looked at what are some common adoption patterns around OpenStack. And what we heard is that people are using OpenStack for three-tier web application type workloads. They're using it for e-commerce workloads, as big well data. as big data, yeah. yeah. And so um, we published three workload reference architectures so far. And these workload architectures focus on these three key areas. And um, we're actually looking in the future to go towards you know, building more reference architectures for other market needs, such as NFV or even cloud-native containerized workloads. Um, do you want to talk a little bit more about what's actually in the workload reference architecture? So inside the workload reference architecture, we actually try to help users understand if, let's say, you want to deploy a big data or even uh, Kubernetes on, on OpenStack Cloud, what kind of component that you need from the OpenStack uh, layer perspective and help, help you to build out that, that recipe. We, in, in the reference architecture, we also provide some recipe to help users to understand. You can quickly bootstrap the environment to have a very good feel on, okay, how, if I want to run big data, how is it going to look like in OpenStack? So those kind of things will be included in the work group reference architecture. And moving forward, we are hoping to more, uh, have more collaboration with other work groups as well, such as a scientific work group, try to define or create a new reference architecture on running HPC workload on OpenStack as well. So yeah, so I think we are very excited and we can work on more things. Yeah, absolutely. And as you can see, where we started with the origin story of the working group three years ago, it was really feature and pain point driven. Yeah. And what we've come to realize is that education and knowledge is, was an existing gap as well. So exactly. it wasn't just the technology that people were saying, oh, I would like it to do this better or this works for me, let's, let's do more of this type of stuff. It was also about how do I talk to my team internally and let them know why OpenStack is important to our future and why are we consuming it, why should we consume it. Yeah. And to that end, uh, the Enterprise Work Group has actually shifted a lot of our work into more uh, educational type output, such as the workload reference architectures, yeah. but also as important are the e-booklets that the work group has been publishing. Yeah. Do you want to cover a little bit of the journey of what the topics are for the books? For the e-book, so the first e-book that we produce is actually more talking about what is OpenStack helping people, uh, organizations understand as what exactly OpenStack is. 
And then the second evil is after you understand what is OpenStack, right? How are you going to deploy or operate uh, OpenStack in your environment? How, how, how are you going to introduce OpenStack in your environment? So we talk about uh, some of the techno technology choices as well as organizational cultural changes. And in the third evil, we're moving towards um, educating people on how to migrate and move existing applications into OpenStack. It's more talk about migration strategies. So moving forward, I hope we can produce more content that's very useful for the, for the enterprise users. Exactly. So to summarize, the first three years have been fantastic for the exactly. working group. Yeah. Uh, enjoy all the people yeah. that I work with personally in that team. And uh, you know, as we said, we're moving more towards uh, education and content creation. And so we look forward to delivering more workload reference architectures, more booklets in the future, yeah. as well as collaborating with other working groups to find out what other needs beyond the enterprise sector, if you will, yeah. can we help with yeah. from the content. So I feel very exciting. I hope more people can join us. If you are interested, do join us for the work group.